Chromata Coffee, a Greek word. Chromos for colors. Chromata Coffee is a collective term for family of laboratory techniques for the separation of mixtures, which means chromatography is a physical separation of a mixture into a individual components. We can use chromatography separate the components of ink and dyes, such as those found in pens, marker, clothing, and even candy shells. Chromatography can also be separate the colored pigments in plants are used to determine the chemical composition of many substances. Mixtures Two or more substances that are mixed together but not chemically combined. Examples of mixtures Air Mixture of gases Soda pop Mixture of soda sweep Water and CO2 gas Fog Water suspended in air Cool rings Mixture of water, sugar and flavor crystals Compounds Two or more elements that are chemically combined Examples of compound Salt Sodium and chlorine combine chemically Water Hydrogen and oxygen combine chemically Carbon dioxide Carbon and oxygen combine chemically Solutions Solutions are mixtures in which one substance is dissolved in another. Solutions have two parts Solute and Solvent The solute is a substance that is dissolved. The solvent is the substance that does the dissolving experiment aim separation of pigments present in extracts of leaves or flowers by paper chromatography and determination of rf values of compounds apparatus watchman filtered paper glass jar or 100 ml beaker test tubes flower extract or extract of leaves distilled water methanol acetone chloroform Grind flowers, grind leaves in a motor and transfer the paste into test tube and add methanol or acetone to the crushed material. Cut the watchman filter paper in a rectangular size of 4 into 16 cm and mark a line on 3 cm from one end of the filter paper. Using capillary tube, put a spot A with the flower extract. Allow the spot to dry. Using a glass rod and cello tape, Hang the filter paper in a jar containing water so that the solvent does not touch the reference line as shown. Carefully observe the filter paper in the jar until the mobile face solvent rises up to two thirds of the length of the paper. Mark the solvent front, outline the spots with the help of pencil and allow the paper to dry. Measure the distance of solvent different spots with respect to the reference line as shown. Calculate the RF values of different spots as explained earlier. Precautions Dip the filter paper in the solvent in such a way that the spot of the mixture should not touch the solvent directly. Do not allow the extract spots to spread. Use capillary glass tube to put the spot on the paper.